Hey everyone, in this uh, video I'll be deriving the continuity equation, also known as the conservation of mass equation. Um, I'm going to be using one of the four flow models that I described in my flow models video that you can check out. Um, we're going to be using the infinitesimally small fluid element moving with the flow, uh, as you can see here. So it's a small fluid element and it has a fixed mass. So because it has a fixed mass, um, and we're assuming there's lots of particles inside this fluid element here, uh, the shape and the volume are going to change. So I denote the, the mass by this dm. The density is rho, and the volume is dv. And doing a unit calculation, you can see that it checks out. The density is kilograms per meter cubed. The volume is meters cubed. These cancel out, and then you end up with the mass. So. Um, so what's happening is that the, the time uh, rate of change of the mass of the particle as it's flowing along in the fluid is not changing. Um, so the time rate of change is zero. So from my other video where I go through the substantial derivative or the total derivative, that's the definition of the total derivative. So we can write it as this capital D dt of the mass, um, and that's equal to zero. So the time rate of change of the mass of the fluid element as it's flowing along with the flow, flowing along with the flow, I guess, um, is going to be zero. So that means that once we plug in the equation for the changing in the, the dm, uh, we get the <coughs> total derivative of rho dv. And then we want to use the chain rule here. So we take the first one out, and we take only the derivative with respect to rho. So we have dv, and then the total derivative of the density with time. And then we take out the density and take only derivative of the volume, the change in volume. So we have the density times the total derivative of the change in volume uh, with time. And that's still equal to 0. Then we want to divide by dv. So we'll divide by dv here, divide by dv here, and on the right-hand side as well. And we end up with this equation here. So we just have the d rho dt here, and then we have rho on this side. I divide it through by the volume, and we have this 1 over dv times the total derivative, total derivative of the velocity, or not the velocity, of the volume with time, and that's equal to 0. This, I haven't gone over a video of this yet, but I might derive this, but the, this is the definition of the uh, divergence of the velocity. Um, and so when you plug that into here, uh, you end up getting this final equation, which is the total derivative of the density plus the density times the divergence of the velocity is equal to zero. And this is the partial differential equation, or PDE form, of the continuity equation uh, in non-conservation form. So I'm also going to go over the derivations of the continuity equation in the three other flow models that I talked about, and we'll see how you can get the conservation form by using the infinitesimally small fluid element fixed in space. And then the other two will give us uh, integral form for conservation and non-conservation form, uh, as I'm pretty sure I discussed in my flow models video. Um, the divergence of the velocity is, as you can see here, it's the fractional change of the, fl of the fluid element. So it's, a, it's, a, it's the change in the fluid element um, over the change per change in volume. Um, so it's the time rate of change of the fluid element, time rate of change of the volume of the fluid element per unit volume. And so sorry if I got it mixed up, uh, but I'll do a video on deriving this definition here uh, a little bit later. Um, all right, so thank you for watching.